talk to you about the, uh, the, new, the trip you're going on, going to Brazil, and yes. pretty soon. Uh, are there any quantifiable results from your last trip to the UK? And well, we've got uh, four or five new companies that have either uh, from Israel that have uh, opened or expanded operations here in Massachusetts. As a result, we signed a uh, an agreement with the chief scientist in uh, in Israel uh, to do uh, co-investing, uh, and there are a number of Im important uh, and promising prospects uh, in the pipeline. There, we've expanded some of our financial services opportunities with the UK, uh, and signed an agreement with the uh, with the stem cell bank in Cambridge, England. Um, uh, so that we can do cooperation with our own stem cell bag here in, uh, in biotech research. So uh, those are just a few of the tangible results, but this is about forming relationships. And that's how business is done now, by forming relationships and building on those relationships over time. And do you expect uh, there would be new centers that these agreements kind of uh, promote, or uh, jobs, you know, the, the shovel's ready to go in the Well, ground. jobs first and foremost, and, uh, you know, as I say, we have, uh, we have tangible jobs we can point to from the Israel and, and U.K. missions, and frankly, it's, uh, it's remarkable that there are as many so soon, because, as I say, usually it takes a little while to form the relationship, and then the... Uh, uh, and then the investment comes from uh, from that. In Chile, I'll be signing an agreement that uh, that our team and the uh, and the president's team negotiated over the last several uh, several months to do specific trade and educational exchanges.